Come on. Okay. And slap. No. Wait. Oh. Uh. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know the. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Welcome back to People Playground. Today I've been active on. <laughs> Today I was. Oh my god. Today I've downloaded a bunch of new mods from the uh, workshop and later on in the video we're gonna check out something that I've created myself. This is pretty cool stuff, I, I guarantee you that much. But first, we're gonna see what this thing is. This is some sort of an earthquake mcbob and I'm gonna try and see if we can make stuff shake. Now in the previous videos we've gone through all of these wonderful machines. Um, there should be a guy over here but he's in there. And uh, if you guys wanna watch these videos, they should be linked up in the top right. Uh, they're pretty awesome. They make Bob suffer a lot, which is really cool. Especially this one. But we're gonna start things off by making this thing touch the ground and it should cause an earthquake. What is more fun than that? Well, an earthquake that makes a house fall apart. So this here is a destructible house. And I think what better way to make a house fall apart than with an earthquake. So the way this works is as soon as this thing touches the ground, the ground should start to shake. Hmm, nothing really happened. A few moments later. Oh, I need to press T. There you go. The ground is shit. He's shaking, but the houses, the houses are not standing on the ground. Bob is standing on it, though. Oh, man, I was really hoping the house would stand on this. How, how should I, wait, can I just move the house down a little bit? Okay, whoops, oh boy, my bad. Right, so it seems that the bottom layer of the house is the thing that's holding it together. So I removed it. <laughs> now you can see the houses wobble a lot more. The windows are starting to shake and the earthquake hasn't even started yet. TV's all about here. This is amazing. Okay, let's hold down T for a bit and stuff should start happening oh my god oh the earthquake is really working it's magic right now. oh my god <laughs> oh yeah oh this is what i like to see everything just go oh my so when things like that happen and shit hits the fan we need to take a shower so i bring you a fully working shower how amazing is this we can put bob in here and we can activate the shower and hmm. oh i see we need to put fluid in this bad boy so why not put a blood vessel wire hooking it up to that thing i think that's just a giant bottle to be honest so now we should have fluids coming through and bob should be able to have a nice little shower in the oh mm, i think the oil might have killed him so just to make things a little bit easier, I moved the button outside so now I can control it a lot easier. And then I've hooked it up to Gore's blood because what better way to go out than to taking a shower and some nice alien uh, blood. I think this is hurting Bobble. Oh my God. Wait, oh, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, uh, hmm. Uh, this was a surprise to me. So if Gore's blood kills me, what about human blood? Say hello to 15 liters of <clears throat> volunteer blood. Flashback. End of flashback. <clears throat> So let's switch this on and see what happens. Surely Bob will be just fine because, well, depending on what blood group he belongs to, uh, yeah, seems to be just fine. He's, he's A-OK. -okay. Marvelous. But let's just finish off with a nice little shower of nitroglycerin. What could possibly go wrong? It's an unstable substance, but it's just falling on top of his head. It's not like it's gonna explode. Um, it actually didn't explode, so... Oh, but he's slowly falling apart, so... I just thought that maybe we should add an explosion. Ah! I just had an idea. What if we fill a human with nitroglycerin and throw him against the wall? Subscribe so you don't miss that! So, I downloaded a fully functional revolver. I don't know if this actually works, but we're about to find out. So, I think we unload it like this... And then, uh, no, just go like so. And now that it's like this, we can load a bullet into, oh my God, it's whatever. Put the bullet, in you go. And then we take the little, little thing here again. And we plug it. Ah, I know how revolvers work. And now that we have it inside there, we should be able to cock this thing back and it should lock into place. 
somehow. And it should. Oh god. Oh boy. Don't want. Don't want things to. Ah! Hmm. So I think the reason this doesn't work as intended is because of a version mismatch, but that doesn't change the fact that the bullet actually fired. And I want to see how much damage it does. And to test it out, I've hired a test subject. He's here completely out of free will. He, um, he wasn't being threatened at all. He was totally, totally committed to the testing. I swear to God that. I swear to God, man, if you don't do this. So here we are. Um, I, I, let's just load this thing in and let's see if this works against the... Oh, now it works a lot better. Cool. Okay, let's put one bullet. You know what? Before we do this, let's just put some more bullets here so that we got a bigger arsenal in case it doesn't really work the way it should work. So I'll put this back. Oh, look at that. It actually goes inside again. Lock it. Okay, right. This is the time we see if the gun actually... <laughs> Hmm. Didn't really, didn't really do it. One more try. If this doesn't work, so be it. And yup. Okay. You know what? You got lucky this time. This box over here might look innocent, but as soon as I activate it, we get a freaking tornado. Are you joking? I don't even know if this works or not, but uh, there's, there's one way to find out. So I decided to test it with humans. A lot of humans. So let's see how this goes then. Um, Spoiler alert, it might lag. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. What about slow motion? Oh, it doesn't lag as much anymore. You think you guys got away with this? You didn't. I'm going to throw you all into it. Come on, there you go. All of you, just go into it. <laughs> ah, don't be scared. Oh, there's people falling from, oh my God. People literally falling from the sky. Okay, all right. I think, I think this testing is uh, complete. The tornado works. Well, hello, Bob. Guys, if you haven't checked out my previous videos, you should do so because in them, I share with you a bunch of cool creations that I've made. We have a little stretch test. We got the gravity force. We've got the wheel of fire, apparently, and a freeze chamber and a lot more. It's awesome. So for those of you who've watched this channel for a long time, might know that I uh, I've, I've grown into liking treadmills a lot. So I've built a machine that should test the Bob's ability the sprint and um when i say ability i really mean it because this thing is really long that's what she said and at the end we've got some syringes here that will just let bob know that he's reached his finish line or death and you can swap it out with this little thing that has knives on it so we're gonna try both just because why not and i can control how quickly they go by moving this little lever over here which is nice because we want we don't want no bob surviving so the way this works is we need to make him walk and that on the lowest setting should hopefully allow him to just stay over, 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 Bob. Seriously, man, you need to start walking forwards. If you don't do that, you will die because at the end of this treadmill, there is nothing but death. So Bob is actually kind of surviving a little bit right now. Slowly, though. Let's ramp up the speed and see what happens. Just a little bit more. There you go. Oh, a little bit of electricity through your body has never killed anybody, right? Any second now. Oh, you better run for it. Oh, you see that? A slight electricity. He's fine, though. He's totally, totally fine. Come on. Hit the syringes. Come on. He's not actually getting hit with them because the speed is not high enough. Well, there's one way to change that. Now you've, you've got a whole lot more speed. You know what though? Even though Bob's skin is being filleted off, he's still surviving this somehow. And I don't know how he's doing it. Look, look at this. Look, he don't have any more skin at all. He's, he's rubbing against the needles here. That should kill him. And he's totally fine. I think I've made Bob immortal. I actually think I've made Bob immortal. So let's put that to the test. Let's slow. Whoopsie. Let's lower this down to the lowest setting. Let's take Bob back over here because, oh, I think we need to be kind of gentle with him. There's even flesh coming through his butt and he's still able to handle it. Full speed. Here we go. That's it. Oh, okay. So full speed is too much then. Got it. So we're now swapping up the later bit with some knives. Huh? But instead of having just one Bob trying to fight for his life, we've got all of these guys and we're going to put them all to walk so that at least this way they have a chance to, you know, succeed. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> I might have forgotten to turn this one down a tad. Proper settings. Ignore the blood. Here we go. Boom. All the Bobs are trying to fight for their lives. Um, 
And let's just ramp it up slowly. More. More. Yes. Get impaled on the knives. I mean, it did a little, a little impaling. A little impaling. Just a little bit. There you go. Just pile up on each other. Wait, what happens if I put more bobs on here? Surely nothing too bad, right? Surely. This can't take a turn for the worst. Surely. This is just fine. I think my computer is screaming in pain. I have an idea. So for you to be able to handle my experiments, I think I need to buff you up a bit. So I bring you to the gym. Of we're going to start off small and then we're going to work ourselves up to something more heavy. These chairs are going to have people on them. Don't you worry. And then we got one ton, 10 ton and 100 tons. I don't think Bob will survive this, but if he does, he'll be able to withstand whatever the hell I throw at him. So here we go. I don't, humans aren't actually able to lift that well. So we're just gonna put this on their heads and if they can balance it without crumbling apart, they've made it. Look at you, Bob. Look at you go. You actually did it. Look at you. Right. Bowling pins is a success. Nice. Even hitting you on the head doesn't hurt you too much. Walk forwards and stop. There you go. <sighs> Stand up straight, will you? Don't, don't, this is not the time. I will make you bench press later. Why is it so hard for you to just <laughs> useless piece of Are you able to stand up better? Ignore the blood pool behind you. Okay, here we go. Bowling balls. Are these okay? <gasps> oh, kind of. Okay, you can still do it. All right. Yep. I think the spine just contracted a little bit, but it's all good. All right, so the next test is the following. You're gonna lift these two chairs, but they're gonna have two bobs attached to them. Well, let's just uh, carefully, careful. This is a test of true strength. Will you be able to lift two bobs? I, I, I think his neck broke. He did lift them a little bit, however, so that was kind of cool. He's just slightly dead. But now we get to the real tests. The one ton. I just, I just don't think this is even possible. I'm just gonna gently lower it on his head. And if he can do this, then hallelujah. Here we go. Yeah, that's that's a dead, that's a dead, that's a dead bob. Right, there you go. Let's just try, try the sec. I can't even lift this myself with my powers. Not it's 20 tons, but you know, it's whatever. Come on. Okay. And slap. No. Didn't work. Okay, this might require some actual finesse. Okay, here we go. I can't even lift it. I can't even lift it. These are too heavy. The only way I can lift it is by doing it like this. So let's just do this and get, let's get rid of this. You know, we don't need to, don't need to see this. And uh, let's see what happens when Bob tries to lift 200 tons. All right, guys, I'm giving Bob the best chances possible. He's trapped to the bar. The only way he can survive is to just lift it with brute strength. I root for you, Bob. You can do this. It's all in your head. But what weather, but, 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 oh my God, my fucking brain, dude. Oh, it's so mush. I'm so done. But what weather, wait, <laughs> I can't. but what better? Jesus Christ. But what better way to go out with a bang than, I don't even know.